So what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today is currently the day after we've done the bits on the golf. I just want to show you guys this. Look at this. What a absolutely beautiful day. But yeah, more stuff to do. So today, gonna to polish up the wheels on the golf. Try and sand them off a bit. Um, get them smooth. Uh, also, we need to check a few things. I need to order, obviously, the two center caps for the rotors. So just about to measure those as we speak. Just got a tape measure out of the van. So yeah, basically, I found some online yesterday and they need to measure the 63 millimeters or thereabouts, which they do. So that's good. So yeah, we'll get two of those ordered and then uh, show you how they go on the wheels. So yeah, obviously they clip on like that. Obviously a bit loose at the moment, so they need some help. We'll either, we'll either like silicone them on or glue them on, something along those lines. But yeah, get two more of those. So I'm happy about that, that I've managed to find them. But <laughs> when I opened the barn doors, obviously, you know, barn doors are here, but yeah, when I opened them, <laughs> and I see this little car, it made me smile a little, I'm not gonna lie. Still not set on the front yet. I do like it, don't get me wrong, I think it's a very nice clean look. But at the same time, I did like the debadged grill because we've got too many grills with badges on them, so I thought it was a nice change. So yeah, so happy with the way the cars come out, you know. The black indicators, the Kanye shades, all smoked fogs and blanks and indicators. So yeah, got a little farm cat popping to say hello. Need a little budding. Hmm? But yeah, like I said, I'm definitely so happy with the way that turned out. Definitely nice. Nice looking car. Like I said, I like all the little bits that we put on it yesterday. Also, was test fitting yesterday. Got a rear valance. Not too sure on that, I won't lie. I think to use that, I might need to trim it somewhere. Sort of shorten it, I feel like it's a big gap at the back. I mean, it does fit the suit well. But yeah, we shall see. Like I said, we do have other lips and stuff like that to go on the car. Uh, yeah, interior next, I think. And also, I don't know if you guys noticed, we've got the uh, dark brown style dash, which I think I'll keep in the car. But one thing I've noticed, obviously, bar putting the sunroof back together as well, is uh, something's up with that window. So, yeah, we'll get that fixed as well. Also, if I can get this back on, I did remember I had these on a the shelf yesterday already painted and ready to go so i think those will definitely be going on the car and maybe a different front lip but we shall see for now though get the car jacked up get the wheels off and start polishing so yeah let's get to it <laughs> actually scrap that <laughs> i just realized we've got parts to show yep i've had some deliveries so let me get those out of the van so we've got three boxes let's get these out of the van and show you what's going on This, <laughs> this right here is, as they say, rare as rocking horse or rare as hen's teeth all of the way from Egypt as well. So this is going to be pretty quick. Let me just show you. I've already opened the box to check, but yeah. So we have brand new in the box, Votex grill. And I mean brand new in the box. I'm going to get this out to show you guys. Right, let's get from there. Box out of the way for a minute. Go there. Honestly, this is like crazy rare. Everything. There she is. Look at that. OEM, brand new Votex piece. And we've got all the clips and the fitting kit. We've got the wiring loom. That is stupidly rare to have. So yeah, we've got literally everything that should come with the grill. Absolutely insane piece to have found, obviously. Wiring loom hasn't been touched. 
So yeah, crazy, crazy rare goodies. All brand new. Look at the bolts, or screws rather. Even they haven't rusted. So that's one. Put that there for a second. Also have a very cool little bit of kit. I'm just gonna open this up and show you quick. I think I've shown you guys before, but basically four screws on the ECU, so let me get those undone. It's a little Torx bit. Get that undone and I'll show you quickly what's going on inside. So we do have another socketed and demobilized ECU. So obviously that little chip there, that is a standard chip at the moment, but if you change that out for a tuned chip, then obviously you can run NA, you can run Boost, all that sort of stuff. So yeah, we've got another spare VR6 ECU for backup. Um, I have already tested this on the RED project. I'll put the clip in now to make sure, obviously, that you guys see it. But yeah, it basically works. Um, unfortunately on the RED VR6, it does have a tuned chip in it. So this ECU does run a little bit lumpy, but it's because there's so many mods on the um, RED VR6 and that's a standard map, hence why it runs lumpy. But yeah, so we've got one of those. Oh, pretty soon guys, pretty soon, we will be getting on with this absolute animal of a car all right that's that all back together so yeah getting through the parts and we also have these bam i actually like them so much <laughs> i'll show you why give you guys an actual visual i actually like them so much i think they're a nice touch some people might think they're tacky i think it's quite a smart touch especially obviously the chrome wheel wheels um chrome in the headlights the badge everything like that I think it's a nice touch on the car. So I had to go get me another set. I think they are such a cool little pop up. It's unreal. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not saying that it's gonna go on this car, but again, once those wheels are properly polished up, there's quite a cool little part. Like I said, obviously the wheels are dirty. They do need polishing. Especially that one. But like I said, I think it's quite a cool, cool little touch on the right car. Like I said, I don't know if it's the right move for this one, but definitely adds a little something. So yeah, like I said, that is all of the parts that we've got today. Or is it? Actually, let me just show you this one quickly, which I've already hung up. So we have our third and final piece. Now, if you guys know what that is, let me get it down. It is a Pontus Racing rear diffuser. That is the matching grill. Down for you. So yeah, that's two. Like I said again, Pontus Racing. And what do we have there? We also have the front lip. So that is the start of the Pontus Racing parts collection. Let's get those all of the parts put away, those back up there, and uh, get on with the black car. Pretty much 
polished up for a minute. I will go over it again because what I want to do is obviously all the little curb rashes I want to take out, get rid of. But yeah, we are looking good. All I've done, WD-40, some wet sanding paper, 1,000 grit, 2,500, and a cloth obviously to wipe all the excess off. And then a polishing wheel with a bit of auto sole car polish for metal. And just give it a quick whip round, tidy it up. So yeah, I'm gonna put this wheel on the front of the car for a minute and uh, give you guys a little transformation between another dirty wheel and this one. And uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna call it a day for now. Come back and do some more when I've got some time next. But yeah, let's get this on. Let's give you guys a quick look down low, but it does look a lot better. That's all I can say. Oh yeah. So much better. Look at that, look how dull that looks compared to that. 100% a lot better. But yeah, little Mark III's coming along there. What a difference a bit of polish to a wheel makes. Absolutely insane. As always guys, um, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you like what you've seen so far, please like, comment, subscribe, all the usual stuff. Um, any comments, drop them down below. Love to hear what you guys have got to say. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna call it a day for now. As always, have a wonderful day and take care guys, bye bye.